Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Set pretty good last night. Pretty, pretty good. Got me a coffee and some oats, and yeah, just gonna casually break camp, um, get myself in order, get cracking. Today we're gonna carry on pushing up river, then eventually we'll get to a little uh, place you can get out of the river, and then we'll just find our way back to the truck. Hopefully we can find a couple of fish. Looks like it's gonna be another nice day. I can see blue sky up there. So once the sun gets up and into this valley, it should be pretty nice. I'm hoping for some more cicadas to chirp. And maybe some more dry fly action. Anyway, for now, oh, how good is that first coffee in the morning? Oh. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna drink this, eat my oats, sort my life out. Catch you guys soon. Okay, so um, pretty much ready to go. Camp's packed up. Whoa, I need to break my rod tip then. So last fish I fished to yesterday bust me off. Uh, so I had to retie, but I just didn't do it last night. So I figured it would give me a good chance to let me run you through what I'm using today and all that good stuff while I'm at it. So hopefully you watched last week's video to see you up to speed about what's going on, where I am and what I'm doing. If you haven't, click on that link up there. Watch that video first and then you'll kind of have some context as to what I'm up to on this trip. But same as yesterday, I've got the five weight Helios prototype I've been testing out for the last couple of months. We've got the Mirage LT size two reel in the burnt orange. And then on there, as usual, got the Amplitude Infinity Smooth camo line from Scientific Anglers in a five weight. So to the end of my fly line, I've got a seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring. And then what I'm gonna do is, because of the incident last night, I'm just gonna retie or just completely remake my entire leader. Oh, come on, man. I mean, honestly, how does that happen? I'm just, just stringing my rod up, minding my own business, and that happens. There's the end of my poly leader to my tippet ring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that 3X off, we're just gonna build the whole thing again. First things first, gonna grab some 3X, and then this is the absolute supreme fluorocarbon tippet from Scientific Anglers. So we'll tie that onto the tippet ring, tag ends in the hip pack with a double davy. And we're going to go five, probably about six feet of 3x. And then off of that, we're going to grab about three feet of 4x. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, plus a seven foot floating poly leader. Looking about a 16 foot leader. So we don't have to go too long in here. No, it have to be too excessive. And I'm going to use a blood knot to join these two pieces of tippet together. Tag ends in the hip pack. And then I'm going to grab one of these bad boys. So this is a Wumpfer from Category 3 Flies. It's basically a cicada imitation. Really good, tied in a barbless hook. And what was really cool about um, all the eats off the top yesterday is every trout was the same. They see the fly, they come over real slow like they're checking it out and then suddenly you just go bang and just smash it. It was really, really aggressive. It was really wicked. All right, so that's that guy. A bit of lube. Just dress that guy up a little bit. And then, what I'm gonna do off of there is probably just add a nymph. Uh, just because it's a bit early, so it might take a while for things to warm up and fish to start actually looking up. So what I'm gonna do is add some forex off the bend of that. Double Davy, just off the back of the bend there. Take it in the hip pack, and we'll go about three feet. Nothing too crazy. And then we'll go down to a, what a mess. Look at the state of this. This is my rig keeper, which is a great idea when you look after them. <laughs> Keep them in check, and I just haven't. I'm terrible for this. I keep saying it, 
but I really have to sort this out. I'm just stealing a fly off of there. Flashback pheasant tail, size 14, category three flies. Tag ends in a hip back. All right, so we've got our size 14 flashback pheasant tail. We've got about two and a half feet maybe to my whimper. And then we've got about three feet of 4X, about six feet of 3X to my floating poly leader, to my fly line. Yada, yada, yada. Great, but I just can't see in it because that sun angle is all wrong. So, oh, come on, gorse, get off. Just gonna bang a couple up this edge just before I walk past it. And you never know. Ah, oh, shit. I don't believe it. So, I got caught on a log over the back there. Um, so, I was just going to go over and get my fly back rather than bust off. <laughs> the log moved. It was in a different place when I tightened up. And it's, uh, it's a fish. Oh, I totally don't deserve this fish. It's a good fish, too. What an absolute rookie. And it's a brown, you kidding me? It's a good brown trout and ah, oh, I don't even know what happened there. Oh my Dude. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Other than I don't deserve this fish. I mean, look at the markings on that guy. It's so pretty. Just beautiful. Okay, um, I... Did this all on the GoPro just because packs on, just not much trip. Anyway, doesn't matter. You got to have a look at that fish. Let me explain what happened there and why that footage is so disjointed. I was just doing a last kind of drift over the very, very back where there's this big log in the water like this. Go right to the end of the drift, dry fly bops under, I strike and get the log. And I'm like, ah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get that because I'm done fishing this anyway. And I don't wanna bust off my gear, so. Let everything go slack, wound up the excess line. Started to walk across the river towards the log and then just kind of brought tension again and the log had moved over here. And it turns out it was that brown trout. So I don't deserve that fish at all, but I will happily take it. Beautiful markings, just such a nice looking fish. Like I say, I didn't catch that fish, he kind of caught himself. I kind of caught him, but I shouldn't have landed him. We'll go with that. That's a barber's hook too, and I left that for ages. Just with the tension of the, the water on the line kept that hook in place, so it really doesn't make a lot of difference if you have a barb or not. Not in a bad way anyway, only in a good way. All right, let's go up there.
Okay. He's just at the back of that sunlight. Pretty good. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. That was really, really cool, man. Just saw it accelerating forward and then just smashed it. Oh, wow, that was cool. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Whoo. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's one. Okay, 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 okay. See this? Boom! Cicada re again. Oh, that was, that was cool. That was cool. Just no hesitation at all. It's almost like summer. Everyone in here is some really good neck, which is great to see. I've mean, been chomping on cicadas for the last month or so, then that would explain their high protein diet and such. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, yeah. Look at that, perfectly hooked. Wow, just look at that. That is just spectacular. What a great, great, great fish. How cool was that? One drift, smash a cicada, beautiful fish, real strong, real healthy, great colors, just mwah, money. They're over there somewhere, just can't see exactly where, so I don't want to car. Oh. Right in front of me. Might be a brown. A good fish. Coming over. Thought about that a lot. He might have spooked on that. Well, I'm pretty sure he's still around. I think I've seen him once. Anyway, so he, he spent a long time looking at that cicada and then just didn't eat it. So what I've done is I've just dropped down to a size 12 kind of mayfly imitation. It's a uh, dead cert from Cat 3. There he is, just dropped down. So he's still around. So my thinking being he looked at the cicada, really thought about it, but didn't eat it. So I'm going to drop down to something smaller. He's obviously looking up, seen me off the top and again. So I'll show him something smaller and see if he eats that. There he is back there. Right on track for it. There he is. Oh, no way! It's not, there he goes. Actually, that's a different fish. That was another fish. So maybe I did spook the brown trout on the cicada pattern. Hmm, don't know. I think that was a different fish. Looked different. Uh, yeah, straight away, no hesitation. Ate the dry fly and lifted. Maybe. Oh, there's a rainbow right in front of me. Coming up. How's that for a commiseration fish? <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. Oh. 
Whoa, right here. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to find my lip. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh wow, not the fish I was after, but we will take it, that was cool, that was really really cool, a skinny mini, but cool eat. there we go, just a little guy, I'm going to get him straight back. Huh. Uh, yes, just as I was talking to you, I spied that guy just coming up the edge, real slow. Pop that in front of him. Hopefully it came out on here because it was right at my rod tip. Really cool eat. So yeah, all right with that. All right, let's uh, sort ourselves out and crack on. Good fish. This is not a good place. Whoa, could be trying to land a fish. Actually, There's a lot of rocks in here. Oh, good. These are strong. What a beautiful fish. Yes. Oh wow. Look at her. What a great fish. Got him. Nice. Oh. I'm 
me. I thought I thought that was a good hook hold. When I was fighting that fish, I couldn't see the fly on the outside of the mouth, so it was definitely in the mouth. And then she just did one big run over the other side, turned and faced me, and went boop. Fly just came straight back towards me, ended up in a gorse bush. So, but super cool eat. Really cool to watch that. So not a total loss. Cool to watch the eat. Beautiful fish. Great piece of water. Let's go try find another one and be better. Got a fish. Leaving my pack on. Here we go. I know it's a brown trout it's a brown trout off the top come on him see if we can break the schneider nine with this beautiful fish oh wow it's a great fish Oh yeah. Oh wicked. Oh, a million gnats in my face here, in my ears and stuff, but look at that fish. Finally got a fish to stay stuck and get in the net. And it's a great fish. Just brown trout, one cast, lazy eat. Um, brilliant. Stoked about that. Got to start pushing. I've soaked up so much time in this first half of the day that I've still got heaps of water to cover. Sorry about the GoPro footage there, but I just, I'm gonna have to start moving and soaking up less time, just changing cameras and lenses and setting up and that kind of stuff. If I can get one or two more fish, I'll be stoked for the day. Absolutely stoked. Gonna move up. Gonna do a turn two, three pieces of water, have some food. What a place. All right, lunchtime, it's one o'clock, so yeah. Well overdue for some food. Nice pumice in my cheese, that's fabulous. Uh, then I'll work my way up this run, and then what I'm gonna do probably this afternoon is uh, work the water maybe a little bit quicker to get to the out point and still make it out of here at a reasonable time tonight. One thing you always have to have in the back of your mind in trips like this is just time management. You know, you don't want to get carried away and get stuck in the river as it's getting dark, trying to get out and that kind of stuff. So as good as the fishing can be and as much fun as you're having, you've always kind of got to be pushing along and just thinking about that time in the back of your head, just so you don't get caught out, that's all. Loving this knife that Lee made me. So remember, Lee's gonna make a dozen of these special ones, tripping on trout in a wild combo knives, just exactly like this. Other than the handle, that would be different, obviously. So if you fancy getting your hands on a unique original tripping on trout in a wild knife for yourself, join my Patreon. First 12 people that order them, get themselves one of them. Nice. Oh no, no, no. Oh. 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 them over here. It's a beautiful fish. Way more colourful than it looked, uh, looked in the water over there. It's a good fish. Yeah. Whoo. 
Oh, that's awesome. Heaps of character to them. The big jaw, beautiful colors. That was awesome, what a great fish. Just popped that a couple of feet in front of him, if that, and he just smashed it. Oh. And then did a really good job of wrapping me around a boulder, so I had to boost out, untangle that. Um, I should definitely check my leader and my tippet after that. I'm pretty sure that would be compromised, all roughed up and stuff, so I should uh, check that. And if it is the case, I'll change it before I do the, uh, I'll change it before the next fish. Um, okay, I'm gonna put all this away and uh, keep pushing. Nice, nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, nice. No hesitation. I was half sunk too. Ooh. Get away from there. What a beautiful fish again. Oh, that's a stunner. Absolute stunner. Ooh. Ooh, almost. Come on. Come this way. Oh, it's a mega fish. Yes. Oh, beautiful fish. What a stunning, stunning fish. Look at him. Awesome fish. Right. I miss it. Just brilliant. Just cruising back to his home. Uh, that was super cool. Just one cast. Uh, the fly was pretty much half sunk because I didn't really do anything with it after that last fish. And he just accelerated forward, smashed it. Good as gold. Okay. Pretty much the last piece of water for me for the day. I found a fish just doing mega laps of this pool. Just um, 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 um. He's doing them quickly too, he's going up and down and up and down, so I'm going to try get my little size 14 tricky situation in front of him because I have seen him get off the top see if we can uh, round this day off in style Just seen him drop downstream Let's see this Oh look, ain't something else You see that? There we go, nice. Ooh. Come on, come back up here, come back up here. Glad I uh, took the time to drop down to a smaller fly. Just had a couple of refusals at the end now on the, on the cicada, so just figured, and whatever he was eating was small. So I just thought I'd just go a little bit kind of stealthier. That definitely paid off. Whew. Didn't even have time to set up the main camera. I was just, uh, just thinking about doing that. And he rolls past, yes! Nice. Not the biggest of the trip, but certainly welcome and beautiful. Just a great fish. Great fish to finish on. Happy as with her. That guy had some attitude. I like him. All right, that was awesome. So I was going to set this camera up, but he just came motoring down again, turned around, so I had a good opportunity. So I just turned the GoPro on. Took me a couple of casts, actually, because he either didn't see it or he was looking at something else or... Anyway, got the cast 
came over, no hesitation, um, what a cool way to finish an awesome trip. I'm going to sign off on that. This is pretty much the last piece of water anyway. Uh, I could look in the head, but I'm probably not going to bother. I've had heaps of fun. I've caught plenty of fish. I don't need to catch any more. It's 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock before I get out of here. Ooh, plus a couple of hour drive home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big couple of days, but super cool. I'm really glad I came in here. Beautiful fish. Just doesn't get any better, does it? I'm gonna get out of here before my camera battery runs out, but I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you watch these videos and you haven't subscribed, do me a favor and click that button. It's a real easy, free way for you to help support this channel, help me grow it. Right, I'm gonna pack my stuff away, have a snack, drink some water, and I've got a long, steep, horrible climb out of here. But that's okay, it was worth it. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below, and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.